Hey everybody, it's Lincoln here, and we're gonna do a quick tutorial on the song No One Like Our God. I'm gonna do it on electric today, but a lot of the things I'm gonna show you are applicable to acoustic guitar as well. So uh, I wanna start with the key of the song. It's in the key of D. Now, heads up real quick. You've probably noticed this on some of my past music. I actually tuned down a half step. So before you continue the tutorial, I'm gonna encourage you to press pause and actually tune down just a half step so your low E string will be E flat, not E. Okay, I'm assuming everybody's tuned down to E flat so we'll all be in sync and it won't be quite as awkward to try to learn these songs. Um, so let's, uh, but I'm gonna call the notes actually what they are relative to the way the guitar looks. So uh, we're in the key of D, even though it's technically C sharp or D flat. So let's, uh, hopefully that's cool with everybody, uh, in the key of D. So the chord voicings that I'm using on this song are uh, have a couple of common notes. And um, I like to hold these through so that it gives the guitar a bit more of a chimey effect. So the D I'm using doesn't have a third. It's basically root, five, root, and then there's a two that you can use as well, which is the high E. Um, so you can either do those three or that kind of sound. I'm, I'm typically just gonna do root five, root, okay? So that sound. And then the, uh, the next chord, we're gonna start with the chorus, so it's D. There is no one like our God, there is. Uh, the next chord is a B minor seven, and if you'll notice something about that, the D chord you were playing actually stays the same. You just don't strum the D note on that string. So you're gonna kind of mute it with your fingers. So it goes from there, and then to the B. And sometimes you can put that E, that it kind of is a nice little, but you can do that at, at you know, whatever you feel like you want to do it. So it's, there is no one like our God. There is no one like our God you want to do that. Uh, next chord is, there is, uh, that's a G, and it's actually technically a, a D over G, and uh, it, it's pretty simple to do this. Again, it's the same shape, those common notes, right? The D root five with a G in the bass. And I use my middle finger like that, so. No other God who can save. And on the word save, we go to an A sus, and again, you'll notice with the A sus, got the same two notes in there. So really that D root five stays the whole time. They're common notes and it kind of, again, helps the guitar sound a little more chimey. So if we play the whole chorus. There is no one like our God. There is no one like our God. There is no other God who can save. There is no one like our God. Kind of keeps that nice, even flow. Uh, one of the chords I did leave out before was you're gonna walk down uh, after the B to the A sus, then to the G, A sus, and then to the D, keeping all those common notes. Uh, moving on to the verse, um, same approach. So, what is this love that won't relent? And these are all, uh, especially when you're playing electric, you're gonna play these uh, sometimes we call them diamonds or footballs if you look at whole notes. So these are just those big long. And, and I find that it adds a little more flavor to it if you do a little bit of a rake uh, when you play the chord. So instead of just hitting it like that, give it a little that type of thing, okay? So, what is this love that won't relent? And that the second chord of the verse is G, over a D over G. It's calling out with heaven's breath. Reaching wide to save our souls. There's that B minor, seven. Only you. Back to the G. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then if you're playing acoustic, you're going to be doing light strumming. Okay, so I'll try to emulate that on the electric the best I can. So, if you'll notice too, one of the things when you pick uh, when you strum on an acoustic guitar. Acoustic guitars have a very wide dynamic range, so the loud notes are much, much louder than the really quiet notes. So try to keep your picking and your strumming very even. Electric, it's not as critical because the amp does the compression, but um, so again, you just want to avoid and, and those
those kind of tend to mess up the mix a little bit. So we'll start on the verse again, so D. And I'm letting that two ring out a little bit, that E. Again, those common notes. So the acoustic players are doing this, the electric players are while the acoustic's going on. You're just creating that nice. And you can put that too. Only you, only you, only you. Acoustic players, the strumming gets bigger in the chorus and electric players, uh, the diamonds just get a little harder. There is no one like our God. But you're really staying with those size chords and the acoustic guys are gonna do that nice big open strumming together. Okay, so now on to the bridge. Um, so you'll notice again with the bridge, it's the same concept with those two common notes, the D5, uh, the D root and five. So uh, the first chord of the bridge is just gonna have uh, an F sharp in the bass, so it's a D over F sharp. No height or depth can stand between us. I'm just gonna go to the G in the bass, but again. And sometimes with these, um, I'll actually, uh, sometimes I'll strum them, but you gotta make sure that you're, you're finger muting these uh, open strings. So this one I'm gonna do F sharp. The A string is a finger mute with, with my index. D string. G string, B, and again, you can hit that too if you want. No height or depth, and then ring finger's gonna go to G. And then we're gonna go to B minor seven. And then to that A sus. Back to the D over F sharp. Separate us from to G, the second half obviously just gets more energetic. Vocal goes up an octave. And that looks like I'm touching with these fingers. I'm actually not. Uh, it's just easier for me to get that with that. So it's that A sus. you're seeing this theme here. So it's those two common notes like I mentioned in the beginning, and it really does help those chords stay linked together where there's not space between them and it doesn't sound uh, choppy. So anyway, I hope you enjoy playing this song, leading this song, and uh, that it's blessing your church. Thanks so much, guys.